going one to one. We have a lot of technology in the district. We've done piloting of one to one in some classrooms. Now we're at the point where we want to go forward and go full one to one. So I've been doing a lot of research on this. And I know there's a lot of districts around here who've gone iPad, but I've also read a lot about Chromebooks, so I wanted to kind of look into this. Um, so the first thing we started talking about was cost. You know, what, what is it going to cost us? Obviously, that's the biggest thing to begin with. You know, an iPad Air 2 starts at $499. The iPad Mini 3 starts at $399. While a Dell Chromebook starts at $279. A 14-inch HP starts at HP starts at $299. And an 11-inch starts at $279. Now, obviously, these are just off the website. It's before any volume purchasing, education discounts. But I've also read that some districts have gotten Chromebooks as low as $150 a piece. So, obviously, there's going to be a savings going Chromebooks over iPads. The next thing we're worried about is looking at online testing is supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Um, websites that we use, tools that we use in our classroom, how are they going to work on an iPad or how are they working the Chromebook? So with online testing, we know, assuming it's going to work, we know we're at least going to need a keyboard because the kids have to type in, you know, the documents on there. So we know we're at least going to have to buy a keyboard assuming that it works and all the other specs are okay. We also use, we're pretty heavy in the iReady um, diagnostic tool. I know there's some districts in the area hopping on that as well. Um, that you cannot do on an iPad because it is all flash based. It, they don't have an app yet. They say they're working on it, but it's not out. And you cannot do it on an iPad. In our math classrooms, we use IXL a lot. We use 10 marks. Both of those do have apps, but you know, some other tools may not, and then it's a question, will it work on the iPad or not? Where a Chromebook, they all work because you're just online. You got the keyboard, you're online, everything works. That's it. So additional costs from that, obviously if you go iPads, you're going to have to buy keyboards, which is another cost above and beyond the Chromebooks. Um, you're going to have to keep some computer labs. I know we will. Because we have iReady, so if we want to go iPads, we're going to have to keep computer labs because the kids have to be able to get on and use iReady because we're not giving that up. And obviously you're going to want them for some other tools as well. The Chromebook, I haven't thought of any extra costs that we would need. Computer labs, if every kid and adult has a computer, we really don't need a computer lab anymore. They've all got them. iReady, every, all the tools work, so we can't think of any additional costs right now management of them. So say a kid loses or damages an iPad. Well, you're going to have to go in and install all of those apps, which in a busy day in an IT department might end up taking a couple hours to get that done and get the kid back up and running on what they could do. Um, they might lose some work. You know, like Sarah was just talking about, they have to back all of their work up. Well, if the kid hasn't backed it up when they lost it or they got damaged, they're losing some of their work. On a Chromebook, from what I've read, the IT people say that they can push all the apps to every device in a couple of clicks. That's it. Done. Um, students can literally be up and running on a new machine within minutes. So even if it's a busy day, a kid broke his device, he needs a new one, a loaner for right now, can you take three minutes to do it? Yeah, if it's busy, I could probably get somebody to take three minutes to get a kid on a new device, so he's got it all day. You're not going to lose any work. Everything's up in the cloud. It's there. It automatically saves as they're working. You don't have to worry about them losing work. It's already been saved. Also, the actual pushing them out in the beginning. I actually read an article where they said two people in one district over three days were able to unbox and completely <laughs> configure 500 Chromebooks. So I was the math person in me said, oh, well, how fast really is that? Well, if you figure they're working eight hours a day and took no breaks for three days, eight hours, that's less than six minutes per Chromebook to unbox it and completely configure it. So I don't think you can get an iPad up and running quite that quick. So the last thought I want to leave you with, and I look around the room, and I think I have my answer. When you want to be productive, what device do you use? So if you have both an iPad and a laptop sitting there and you need to get work done, what do you use? And if I see my answer sitting here, 
Don't we want to give the kids the same tool that we use when we want to be productive, if we want them to be productive as possible, and we want them to be college and career ready? That's it.